What's up guys, the yes, again here, and today we are playing Sobek in the solo lane because, well, today I felt like just sitting in lane passively and doing nothing. No, but really though, Sobek's actually a really strong god right now in the solo lane. I think he does pretty well having the Wrath being such a popular relic right now. It allows him to secure his buff safely as well as he's, well, a really safe pick in the solo lane. Your clear is not the best really on the game, but it, it ramps up over time. I'm actually going to be able to go for mana pots because... He's also really tanky, and you're not going to be boxing all that much. You're, you're more or less just trying to sustain yourself up early on in the game, and just try and get your farm online as quickly as possible, just try and level up, because it does take quite a few levels before you're able to fully clear the wave with your 3 and your 2, but it's fine. He, he's still a good god, and I think we'll see him... I, I, I'm expecting to see him a few times in the solo lane at Worlds, and it looks like we have the double wrath, so we're going to be really quick on this clear, which is nice. Thanatos picking up the Wrath, which wasn't a bad idea. Thanatos, of course, a uh, jungler who str really wants to get ahead early, so getting the Wrath is going to help him kind of play aggressive early. It's going to help him maybe secure a kill if he wants to. It's going to help him, of course, steal buffs away. It's going to help us get this clear off quickly, which is probably the most important thing at this point in the game, so... We'll just see if we can uh, play around this and make sure we can take advantage of this Wrath. Be safe now. Are these Wraths? He'll probably wrap this one, I'll wrap the next one. Ari won't wrap that, and I'll, I'll wrap it. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't wrap that, that was kind of odd. Alright, we can take out this man buff though. Usually, if you go double wrath... Actually, always when you go double wrath, the jungler goes... Uh, Rast the speed buff, soul in a the mana buff, but that's fine. I don't know why Bologna just let me <laughs> get a free knockup on her right there. And oh, Thanos is gonna get stunned, but that's okay. We're gonna be able to win the clear and go to the Harpies over here, or the Fire Elementals, I should say. There we go, clear those out. Move over back to our lane, and this is gonna be a pretty boring lane for the most part. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do too much here, but it looks like. I don't know. I guess Valona's they're going for the mid harpies here, I guess. I don't know, it's kinda odd. She also only has two pots and they got the kill. Well, <laughs> I guess that Valona rotation didn't turn out too good because well we're gonna be able to push in the wave. My team's gonna be able to get a kill with the Yanos and oh my gosh, what was that? Nice. Is that just a bunch of server lag right there? I actually have no idea what that was. That's kinda weird. I'm gonna bully Bologna a little bit. I use my abilities, but it's okay because, well, the wave was under the tower, so she may be able to get her bludgeon off, but that's going to be fine. Actually, she's not even going for it. She knows I can knock her out of it, so she's trying to avoid it <laughs> as much as she can right now. Wow, we are bullying the Bologna. That is always nice. Just a really bad rotation for her early. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Didn't work out too well. I probably actually could have used my one right there and killed her. I definitely should have. That was my mistake. Right, and she's going back to base. She does have the teleport though. But having to use the early teleport, that's not that's not fun for her. But I'm going to be in a good spot. I'm gonna be level five actually. She's still only level three. This isn't fun for her. She's probably gonna hit level four here though. Yeah, there it is. But I'm gonna be level five, so I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. I'm just going to knock her out of her bludgeon here if she uses it. Okay, let's go for the ultimate. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I probably should have wrapped her. I think I might have been able to kill her. Actually, with Thanatos coming around, he's level 5 as well. I'm actually just going to... There it is. I tanked the tower right there. I th actually thought he was a bit closer, but I tanked it so he could, uh, <laughs> so he could hopefully not take too much damage because I don't think he wanted to go back to base. Because if you look at him, yeah, he already has his tier two, so he just backed, and I didn't want to. Actually, is he gonna? Uh, we should have. We should have been, been able to uh, steal the speed buff away right there. That's okay. I'll just go to the mana buff as well. Oh geez, looks like Yon just wants to clear this with me. I'm just gonna wrap this probably. Yeah. 
Because I need to go back to base. Actually, I'm just going to go for this wave and then go back to base. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to go damage boost this game, pen boots. Yeah, I really like pen boots Enemy on Sobek. Over the cooldown boots if I'm going solo lane. Enemy Honestly, if I play support as well, I don't even go for the uh, cooldown boots. I go for either... Travelers or reinforced grease. I guess I don't really go reinforced or reinforced shoes. I guess is the correct The correct boot, but uh, yeah, I don't even pick up those that often anymore Mostly just go for the traveler shoes If I'm playing support so back but in the soul lane, like I said pen boots is my jam Up. Okay I was weird a little bit of lag a little bit of lag to get my three online though I was like why is my three not leveling up, but now we're just gonna lag a little bit. That's fine though. And what do I want? She's still missing. I don't know where she went. I could go damage, which would be kind of goofy. Like, go for a nicely played helm, but I guess I'll just go breastplate this game. I could just go hide of the urchin. She's not really not really doing too much to me. She might not be leveling up her blood now that I think about it. Since I can knock her out of it, she might be leveling up her disarm. Not quite sure, though. Actually, I can go for a wave and then go for the fire elementals. We can almost clear the archers, not quite, but almost. Oh, okay. Enemy ultimate down. I'm gonna go for it right now. The fire elementals. Okay, I didn't need to use that right there. Didn't need to use my two, that's okay though. Tail whip, not necessary. Man, I love that we're bullying this Bologna because Sovic is a guardian, so he's gonna be able to provide a lot towards the later stages of the game and mid game. In terms of just team support, so I don't know. This should, this is this is pretty nice for us. It's usually, so early game in the soul lane for Sobek is so slow and so boring. Right here, no, nope, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, yeah, I was waiting for her to go for the bludgeon there. I probably should have went for the ultimate. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get that kill, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> that was just uh, Sun Wukong. Uh, all he had to do was walk up and hit him with his one. I guess Sun Wukong's level eight as Jung are support Sun Wukong. That's uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice for Sun Wukong to be that far ahead as a support. And he definitely took advantage of that, hitting her with his one. Oh, he's he has four kills. That's true. He got a bunch of kills in the in the uh, duo lane. He's, I think he's gotten all the kills that they had over there. Because Chiron, yeah, Chiron doesn't even have a kill. Okay, we'll take out the speed buff, and I'm gonna go to my mana buff. I need to pick that up. I do have a uh, wrath to take it quicker. I mean, I don't really need to use it, but oh yeah, I definitely don't use it. I was thinking like maybe I'll put, get it just to get it to the lane a bit faster, but now nah, since Yannis came around, we're gonna be able to get that without using the wrath. And I could use my wrath to steal hers away. We'll just have to see. Oh no, there she is. She's at the speed buff. Okay, she may be going to the middle lane, so I want to make sure my T doesn't get caught out. Fire elementals are spawning. I think Yana's, or Thanatos is just going to pick those up, which is fine. Oh, there's a Fenrir. I'm just going to use my ultimate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Yano's got a nice portal. We have Thanatos. Oh, okay, we're good. We're going to be able to survive. Oh, and Thanatos can actually get a kill here. Fenrir's ultimate's down. Yep, there it is. Nice. Oh, those ultimate. Did that hit Thanatos? Oh, it did hit Thanatos. That was a lot of damage on Kumba. I'm just going to use my pluck here. Throw him back. There it is. Nice kill for my team. Thanatos can have that. Man, we are doing so great this game. 8-3 to three with that Sobek solo. Destroying early. I did have to use my Wrath, so getting the... Oh. What was that? <laughs> what was Stu thinking there? He just, like, moved up and got beat up by my team easily and quickly. So, huh. I mean, we have a team that snowballs really hard with the Thanatos, and we got it a bit early. And, oh, gosh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm, like, going into a whole different... Whoa. I don't even know what's going on. 
I'm lagging around everywhere. That's okay, though. We can go back to base. Wow. Really, Bologna? I'm gonna stop my back right there. No, I'm just back in front of her still. Disrespect her for hitting me. Okay, we'll go for the breastplate. Come on, breastplate. Come on, breastplate. That's gonna be a pretty nice pickup. Get some mana physical protections as well as cooldown reduction. Especially against Bologna, who's behind. She's already doing almost no damage to us, so it's gonna help a lot against Fenrir, who is I probably gonna be able to get Yanus here. Yeah. He's just gonna be able to bite him with the ultimate. Bite Yanus's butt, his metal butt. Okay, well. I'll say enemies incoming middle. incoming middle because Fenrir should be coming middle. Okay, actually, he never showed up. I, I guess, I mean, he couldn't get anything. Sun Wukong and Thanatos aren't that low. Sun Wukong's half HP, but he's the support and he's pretty tanky right now. Oh, we won't talk about that one. <laughs> we won't talk about that one. Okay, if Sun Wukong wants to, wants to gank, probably get something here. Wait, does she not have her ultimate? Okay, I guess she didn't have her ultimate because I was... I used my ulti my ultimate a bit earlier. I popped it early because I thought she had her her ultimate, but... I guess that wasn't the case as we were just able to take up the kill on her, I guess. Alright, well... Good game from Sun Wukong as well as Thanatos coming in a bit later. Oh, ooh. Ooh, we might be able to snipe something away right here. Oh, just out of range. Wasn't able to get, unfortunately. Oh man, Sun Wukong is doing some damage. I do have the Wrath. I'm thinking about it. Didn't even need to. Sun Wukong is doing a lot of damage. I guess since he has five kills and he's level 11 as the support. Like I said earlier, this guy's ahead. So if you can, if you can get ahead with uh, Sun Wukong, you can still do a lot of damage. He has some pretty decent base damages. And that's going to be a surrender. Not really surprised about that. Uh, solo Beck, you know, flexing its muscles. It was really, they just made a mistake early game. Bologna rotating was not a smart idea. Even if they wanted to get a, a quick kill or something, that just didn't work out for them. I, I don't know. Bologna, I guess they tried, but Giannis and uh, Thanatos played it so well, and they were able to get away with first blood in a 2v3, so... That's what happened. The game just kind of snowballed from that. You got Giannis, who's one of the best rotating ma mages, ganking mages in the game, with a Thanatos, who is one of the hardest snowballing and best early game junglers in the game. So, yeah, not really... Not really surprised that that game escalated so quickly. And plus, we were playing Sobek and we were beating Bologna in lane. Yeah, you don't want to see that happening. Usually, it's more of a... Bologna does the clears pretty easily and then... Sobek just kind of... He just kind of clears himself, but he survives because you're not going to really kill a Sobek in lane. But I was bullying her out. She kept standing in the way of my two, so I kept knocking her out, out of her bludgeon. Not that it really matters. She still should have been able to outclear me because of the way her uh, her bludgeon cleave works. It's able to She's able to clear a lot quicker and have decent sustain even if I'm trying to poke her because of the death toll. And she just didn't take advantage of that. There are times where she just sat under the tower, and I feel like I, she could have done something in the lane. But not a good game for her. She actually had level 9. I was level... 12 so the wrath came in really really clutch early game allowing us to get to the lane a lot quicker i think if you're gonna play sobek solo you want to go the wrath i mean you can go teleport it's not terrible it's just that if you go the wrath it it just gives you so much more control over your jungle because one of the hardest things as a guardian is clearing your jungle camps and clearing your buffs so the wrath definitely helped out also helped survive helped me survive one time so there's that too, but anyway guys, this has been the SB Gam playing some solo back. I hope you enjoyed, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.